This video is sponsored by BetUS. Follow my pinned Twitter post and my Instagram story for more details and use promo code JOIN125 to start betting your favorite sports. To TJ Brown is going to meet Shadjilan Nordambike or Shailan Nordambike. 27-10-0 for Wolverine out of uh, China 5'8", 69 inches of reach. Long on MMA gym, foundation style is grappling. This guy out for Sean Soriano. And he lost to Joshua Kulibao, but both of the fights were great. And uh, he also lost to Zhu Rong in a local Chinese promotion. He was better than Baheti Han Nordambike. He was better than Tang Zhao Wang. But majority of his fights I haven't witnessed. UFC brought him from this uh, great promotion. And interestingly, that's one of the interesting facts. Uh, that I witnessed uh, Nordambike is very, very skillful in the stand-up, which was a shocking fact when I discovered, when I rewatched that fight against Sean Soriano. He looked pretty decent, now he's gonna meet TJ Downtown Brown, 16 5'9", 73.5 inches of reach. Downtown gonna have reach advantage coached by James Claus. He out for Kai Kamaka, he was better than Charles Rosa. Prior to that, he lost to Jordan Griffin and Danny Chavez. At the White Contender Series, he choked out Dylan Lockhart. But I don't see any submissions here. I mean, more than big, he defends submissions really, really well. As he <coughs> comes from a grappling background. But uh, TJ Brown, according to my mind, is a better striker. More than big, is hard to finish. TJ Brown is very, very hard to finish too. Jordan Griffin pulled it out, but I think uh, TJ Brown's submission defense improved significantly since that uh, moment. He also lost to Trey Ogden via a naked choke, but he choked out later Peter Barrett, slippery pit. So he fought high level competition. I don't think Northern Bicky will be able to finish him that easily. I'm going to pick fight starts round three. That's going to be my pick. If I have to pick a side, then I'm going to go with TJ Brown for the victory.